Welcome back to the Vanderbilt Rebuild, everybody. Today we are taking on the Georgia Bulldogs, and they are currently the second-ranked team in the nation. They are a five-star offense, a five-star defense without any alterations. Now, we will be playing this game on Extreme, as I have stated several times in the comments. All ranked games will be on Extreme. Now, the Kentucky matchup, which you can see was on hard. We did win 38-33. to Unfortunately, the screen recording just didn't record, which we love, but I'll show you the stats real quick. Chase Lap, a very nice, clean game, 20 for 22. W.C. Quinn, 10 for 45. Roland Moss, and a very Roland Moss-esque game, and he also had a very far kick return, a 64-yard return. Dante Deach, 8 for 91 and a score, and the defense made literally zero stops. So that was the Kentucky matchup. It was a good one, scored at the very end there too cap off the game now we take on the georgia bulldogs and this is going to be not a fun matchup by any means i'm genuinely not looking forward to it i also did spend my five coaching credits on upgrading the training facilities so that is that's nice get a little bit more xp i also turned up the training regimen for this matchup trying to get as much xp as possible these players are very young and obviously besides our quarterback who's a senior everyone else is going to be around for a while we have a junior in easton goldman also obviously zion mckee but at the end of the day, the players that matter are young, so we need to develop them as... I've noticed my video, The State of Retrable, is getting a lot more views than it was when I posted it. I think a lot of it has to do with College Retrable coming out, and you guys probably just happening to be able to find it, which is cool. But it begs the question, what is the one feature you guys want to see in Retrable? It could be Retrable, Retrable College, either or, it doesn't really matter. It can be something as big as defense, QB mode, whatever, or it could be something smaller that you just are like, oh, I wish they had, you know, different scoreboards, which I know you guys are talking about the scoreboards. I will definitely do a video explaining how I do those. What, what What's one feature you want to see? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to do a video on it eventually of all of your guys' comments and just kind of, we can just have a nice open dialogue because at the end of the day, a lot of the comments about the State of Retrable video I made, a lot of people are just saying, well, the game's meant to be simple and you don't want to overcomplicate it, blah, blah, blah. The game can be simple and still be better, you know? You don't have to, like, make it crazy in-depth in order to make the game better. Like, take what you've got and just add to it, you know? Add more customization, truly, is the biggest thing I'd like to see. But let me know in the comments as we will get ready to take on the George Bulldogs here. They are 6-0. and oh, We are 4-2 and two on the season. Playing very well, honestly. We've been uh, a very clean brand of football. Uh, one more time, real quick. Five interceptions on the season. Uh, five fumbles for the running back. Two for... Roland Moss, none for the receiver, so a decent amount of turnovers, but actually not really. We're averaging about one a game. It kind of is what it is as we are going to hop into this matchup. The Georgia Bulldogs are going to have the ball to start. They're going to go three and out. Are you kidding me? I was not expecting that. We will happily take that. Roland Moss on a hitch route to start this game off. The DBs are zipping around. Look how fast they are moving. Already past the midfield mark on one play. Cornerbacks. Playing off coverage, hanging in the pocket to Dante Deach. 18-yard gain in the rain as we are playing this one in Athens, Georgia. This is going to be a toxic environment for sure as Chase Lab not seeing anything. Sneaking out to the uh, to the right side there, seven-yard scramble. I can't believe we got a, a stop on defense. Last episode, or last game I should say, there wasn't a single stop. Quick out route to Roland Moss. Diving, gets his feet in bounds. Tony Totap. And a very nice reception. Underneath is Dante Deach. We're striking first against this against this uh, Bulldogs defense. I can't believe it. You can see on the bottom, playing on extreme. Nine miles an hour of wind is enough for me to say I'm actually going to go for the two-point conversion. And that's what extreme is. Extreme is linebackers jumping extremely high in the air. That's what it is. Extreme, Lee high in the air for your players on defense. As booty is too slow, point after is up and good. Okay, now we're down by a point. Kicking out to the running back this time. WC Quinn steps out of bounds, third and six. I'm avoiding getting hit because I know if I do get hit, I'm gonna get probably destroyed now. Gonna have to just go for it. As I'm just gonna throw it up, fourth down, make the catch. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, we had a wide open receiver on a post route. Georgia goes down the field and scores a touchdown. And the extra point is up and good. Come on, I mean, we, I know we gotta take our stop. That's probably gonna be our only stop of the game too. Hit route got open. Cornerbacks are just nowhere to be found. Roland Moss got drilled. End of the first quarter now. Playing decent. Uh, offense needs to pick, 
figure it out though. Dante Deach makes two defenders miss. He makes another one miss. He is off to the races. To the 40, to the 30, to the 20. To the 23 yard line, Dante Deach turns a hitch route into an amazing play. Makes everybody miss in the rain. Gonna throw it up to, is that Dante Deach? It is in double coverage, he makes the catch. It's Georgia Bulldogs defense not scaring the offense. As Roland Moss comes back for it, secures the touchdown, and we are going to be a two-point conversion away from getting a tie ball game as we score it here, 14-all. Too slow, Trufant, touchdown, extra points up and good. A minute and a half left. That is the perfect amount of time, as I'm sure you guys know. I'm throwing it to Dante Deach quickly on a little screen pass. Eight-yard game. Let's keep the offense moving. Roland Moss on the comeback. He gets open. The cornerback drills him right away. He cannot make a move. Quick out to Dante Deach, makes a move though. No, the cornerback's gonna tackle him. Try to come back inside, could not break away from him. And Dante Deach, underneath leverage, is not gonna work against the sophomore. That is beautiful. We're going over the middle. Now he catches it, Roland Moss. 16 yard gain, calling the first time out. Dante Deach, one on one. Cornerback playing off, and it's not gonna work against this, this wide receiver. I'm telling you, he knows what to do. He knows how to play the leverage. And they keep sagging off. They're playing this little cover three. And it's not working. Clearly, Roland Moss scores a touchdown. Everybody's playing off. They've got a single high safety. They're basically saying, don't, don't get the big, don't get the big shot. But it doesn't matter. We'll take all these underneath plays as we go up by one going into this uh, first half. I think that's exactly what you want to see against a team that is second in the nation, being up by a point. With the ball to start the third quarter, it's anybody's ball game, truly. We need to keep playing smart and keep playing well. We haven't ran the ball much. It's hard to do on extreme. Roland Moss makes a man miss. He's coming back inside. And the passing is working. They're not going to call it. Those clearly the, the Georgia officials are just completely blind to all the pass interference on that play. Just don't want to call it. They're going to get a little home field advantage there. Third and inches. Do we just try to say our guys are better than yours? They're not. They're clearly not now. Going to elect to go for it. Chase Lapp's gonna scramble out, try to get the edge. He does, he gets tackled, but not before crossing the first down marker. Offense kind of not really moving super well this uh, past few plays. We need to get the ball into the receiver's hands. The run game is not effective. As I say that, I try to run it and we get drilled. I don't like it. I wanna run this ball against the Blitz. Is it four down territory? I think it is. I'm running the ball, it's stupid, but I'm doing it. WC Quinn up the middle, seven yard gain. Gonna go for it here. Throwing it up to Dante Deach, who makes another catch on the streak. I love to see it. He's making plays on that route all day. Roland Moss now with the cornerback. The safety's rolling over, but not before he makes the catch inside the five-yard line. Handing it off to WC Quinn, trying to find the edge, and he does! Touchdown for the Commodores. As a two-point conversion gives us a two-possession lead. I'm calling my last audible of the game. Nothing's really getting open. Chase Lap diving for it, and he's short on the two-point conversion. Oh, my God. Midfield now on the 16. Touchdown. And the extra point is missed. We still maintain a one-point lead through the third quarter now. Don't dive, please. If you ever try to touch back on the edge of the goal line, he'll just dive on the one-yard line. Dante Deach gets a nice stiff arm there, seven yard gain. We've played a pretty clean game of football so far as that's a beautiful pass to Roland Moss. Post route got open. All right, one quarter of football to play here in Athens, Georgia. Roland Moss, nephew of Randy Moss with the hurdle. If we score again, it's gonna be, oh my God, he's still on his feet. It's gonna be tough for the Bulldogs to come back. I, I mean, our defense has played very well today. WC Quinn making a couple defenders miss in the sloppy, sloppy conditions. And it's sloppy tackling and sloppy catching. Dante Deach on the hitch. He can't catch the ball. I don't have any audibles. I hate these plays. Chase Lapp delivers a strike to Roland Moss, slanting across the field on third and goal. Clutch, clutch pass. Nine miles an hour wind just scares me greatly. I am gonna continue to go for two points. It's been working all day. Throw the ball to the outside. Roland Moss secures it 36 to 27. It is a nine point ball game. We have a two point lead going into the fourth quarter here. A minute and a half left in the game. I don't want to play this conservative. I don't want to hand off the ball. I'm going to throw that over the top. The linebacker can't make a play on it. WC Quinn hauls it in. Going to run the ball here. WC Quinn dives for it. We get the first down moving the chains. 
Again, it's a sloppy matchup. I cannot afford to fumble this ball. Oh my god, the wide receiver dodges the cornerback who gets sucked onto a block. Two on one here. Make the catch. Another. It's deja vu. Roland Moss torching the cornerbacks. We are so close to winning this ball game. If we just hang in tight. WC Quinn, don't fumble the ball. Please hold on to the ball. Oh my god, wide open. Roland Moss, 15-yard gain. The clock is rolling. We just need to knee this ball out or just stop, you know, st stop them from making us fumble it. Chase Lamp takes a knee, and we upset the number two ranked Georgia Bulldogs in Athens. 400 passing yards. Let's go. Huge win. I can't believe we won that. We are number one. Number one in the SEC East. What a game. Roland Moss, three touchdowns, 259 yards. Chase Lap, 406. No interceptions. Maxed out speed for the freshman receiver. Rehab has slightly declined. We don't care. Dante Deach taken in by security after caught using the campus fountain like a public restroom after a heavy night of partying. We're ignoring it because I don't care that he pissed in a fucking a water fountain or wherever it was. We just won against the number two ranked team. I don't give a shit. Dozens of inbred... Oh, no. This isn't Alabama. Inebriated students descended from the Vanderbilt campus wearing Nolan Tanner jersey after he decided to organize a huge party. That's so funny that they'd be wearing a kicker's jersey when he didn't even do anything. He didn't. I don't think he kicked a single extra point. So I guess we'll discipline him. We are currently on the season five and two. We are not ranked. How are we not ranked? We just beat one of the best teams in the nation. We went up 16 spots, and now Georgia falls to still number two. How? How are they still number two? That doesn't make any sense.